Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer, and today I'm bringing you Sky Haven. This is a new game that's come out in early access. It was released yesterday. Uh, it's got some mostly positive reviews. Sky Haven is an airport tycoon simulation game. Plan and construct, manage schedule, research, improve logistics, and say the word in the airport development. Then watch how hundreds of passengers float through your airport. It is that simple. Now this is very early access. Uh, it was on Kickstarter a little while ago. Uh, I did back it. And uh, yeah, I've been quite excited for this. I like my airport CEO. I like all these kind of airport tycoon kind of games. Um, so what I thought I'd do today is that we'd start doing our own little series. And uh, we'll start getting building. Now I had a look at the tutorial. Now this is one of the only things that bugged me. There's not much of a tutorial to the game. It is literally just a couple of boxes where you, you know, doesn't really tell you very much. Uh, it's not the kind of tutorial you think, but I had played it for about 20 minutes just to kind of get the grasp of the game. Uh, I haven't played it in a long time since the demo and some things have changed. So what we're going to do, we're going to start a new game. Okay, the beginning, 1916. This is what I like. You start very early. The first step in the sky, people around the world are looking for ways to use new elements for the benefit of mankind. Mail, express, fright have never been delivered so fast. Brave travelers and eccentric people try out the new ways of travel as well. Although, of course, aircrafts are unlikely to compete with ships and trains. Uh, small propeller planes, many mail and cargo flights, and a number of passenger flights with a rich audience. Okay, so this is the kind of map you start on. It's, uh, it's actually all right. It's not too bad. Plenty of room. Um, so yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to get started with the airport. So if we have a look at all the features you can see here, it's an early beta still. Uh, here's your money, uh, workflow points. We need these for uh, cargoes and uh, contracts. Uh, we've got no passengers, of course. 10 airplanes is our max at the moment. And there we only have two uh, maximum takeoff and landing. Okay, we've got cargoes and fuel managers here. Uh, we've got our roads and airfields. So what I think we're going to do is actually start with the airfield. Uh, 1,000 for our first one. And I think what we're going to do, we're just going to tuck it up in this top corner. Make it nice and neat to start with. That's obviously probably going to change as the future grows. Uh, we need some of these grass strip things coming out of it. I'm going to do one on either end. So the planes can enter and exit the runways. Still a little bit finicky. Okay, uh, grass road, grass taxiways. So I'm going to link them up for a second. Okay, so these are the maintenance ramps when the planes come in. Right, what I want to do to start with, I want to try and keep everything kind of tight and small. I think that's the best way to do this. So look, let's get as few of these in as we can. Apparently they can't link up like that. Okay, that's fine. We probably have to build a road between them. Yeah, that's okay. So that, that works. So we're going to just keep continuing putting a couple of these in. I don't think we need too many to actually get us going. I think this would be more than enough to start because we have to do all the... All the kind of uh, accepting of the airplanes ourselves. So it's kind of a lot of work to start with. So we don't want too much. Uh, but we do want to be making a profit. Okay, so that's important. The road now fits down there. And what we're going to now do is join up these taxiways. Like so. And then I'm going to bring it out. I do like the snap tool. The snap tool is pretty good. Okay, so that should bring the cars in and out. Okay. I'm going to build a little road like that to start with. I just want to make sure that we have enough room. Now, these are very important to keep close, especially like the fuels and the cargoes. You don't want them traveling too far. So we're going to put, what was that? The barrel stock and the maintenance. We're going to get them in here. And then we're going to get our office on the other side. Like I said, we're only a very small airport, so we just want to get things going, really. Um, and then we need to connect this road up to the main road, uh, which is going to look a bit rubbish. But it works. Okay, we're just going to get rid of that control panel. A little bit annoying. I can't get rid of the music. The settings are still in the works. Uh, so yeah. So what we need to do now is we need to start linking these things up. So if we go to our barrel stock, if we, we could link manually or we can just link all of them, which is a lot easier right now. And we will need to pick up a vehicle. We come across um, and we're going to pick up one of these. 
Okay, so we are running out of money pretty damn quickly. Uh, we will want to get a couple of these as soon as we can. And again, for the cargo, we can link all of them. Uh, we can actually have two vehicles for this. And we're going to buy two because the cargo is quite important. Okay, so the cargo management and our supply management. So we need cargo to give planes and stuff. Um, so this is quite important. So when we sign a new contract, uh, we're going to try and take as much as we can. And we try and get a daytime delivery. Uh, something, yeah, around lunchtime would be good. So it's going to cost us 10 workflow. That is fine right now. We will accept the Royal Post. That's going to come every day. 200 every day. As you can see here. So that's kind of good. That's a start for that. We'll look at that again in a second. Okay, now if we go down to our... I build two cargo storages, did I? Oh, this is the fuel. If we go down to the fuel storage, we do actually have some fuel. Now this at the moment, if we go to our supply management, is instant. Okay, so it's instant delivery with all of these right now. Well, that one we can't even have. Um, so the fuel, we're just going to make sure we have enough fuel per day. Uh, we're going to sign that. That is all our money gone. So what we can do now is actually open up. I think there's enough here to open and we'll try and make some money. We'll try not to take loans too early. Okay. So look, let's press play. And what we're going to do, we're going to wait for the aircraft to come in now. We're going to start getting messages here to come. We go to incoming flights. We have our ramps here. So you can actually pick the flight you want. And you can connect that to any ramp you want. So we'll just put that to ramp one. I do want to change some of our ramps around. Uh, if I click on them. This one we can make for scheduled flights. So that is only for schedule mode only. We don't have any scheduled flights right now. But that is fine for a second. Okay. So look. Those planes are coming in. We're just going to take all these flights. Because we do need the money. So we're now going to run on a bit faster speed. Again look. We're just going to take every flight that comes to us this morning. We get a landing fee. And we get some sort of cargo fees and stuff and fueling fees. Look, so this one will be worth 500. Uh, it's quite a big one. And we'll take that one there too. So at the moment, I can't take any more. So these can build up, but look, they will run out. So it's no big deal. So once planes leave, uh, we can do a bit more. But as you can see here now, they're all working pretty hard. We'll slow it down a little bit. You see the cargo trucks out, the fuel trucks are out. But that's why I didn't want to make too many of these because we do need more vehicles so once we've got a bit of money coming in we have 300 now uh i'll go how much does it cost for an extra slot okay so we do have an extra slot now and we just have enough money to buy a third cargo truck so we'll take that and then we'll need to get some more fuel trucks because we've only got one but i find that most of these planes come in um for the cargo and stuff so we're going to take some of these ones that are just fuel only they're quite quick and easy to get in and out. So we can choose. Now, eventually, we'll get to research some of this stuff. Okay. That is looking okay. How much does it cost? 440. So you don't really need loans to start the game, to be honest with you. Um, but what it is, we are progressing through the eras. So what we do want to be doing... Uh, okay, this one's just fuel only. We'll take you. Just you're just cargo. We'll take some of you. If you're a small cargo. We'll take you as well. Because they're nice and quick. We want quick turnaround right now. Okay, so we've got 500. So what's important here now is to get the second fuel truck, and uh, we need 300 for that. Won't take us too long, guys. We do have another one free. These are quite big ones, uh, but we'll take them. At 12 o'clock today, we will get another cargo delivery because we don't want to be running out. As you can see here, here's our fuel and here's our cargo. So we really don't want to be running out of cargo. So if we can take some more fuel flights, that would be good. And all we then need is to get... A bit jaggy there, isn't it? That's not very good. Nice and smooth here. Okay, these guys all queuing to take off. What I'd kind of like to do is put a second runway maybe on this side. And do the same thing eventually. Okay, so we've got no research going on. So 
we've got lots to pick from we've got airplane services passenger services personnel but as you can see look it's going through the years so this is what we're allowed to do right now um and i think flight scheduling is going to be quite important so let's research that now at the moment we don't have enough money it will still research but it'll be very slow we do need to get some clerks um but we'll look at this again in a second Okay, some of these planes coming in. These are all for cargo. Really, I want fuel, but these are small cargo drops, so I don't mind them too much. Two hours before our delivery of more cargo. Okay, we've got a thousand in the bank, so this is now when we're going to get our second fuel truck. It's very important that we get a couple of them going. And we have enough money now for the research. You can see it is doing it, but it just, just doesn't do enough. So down here, we got loans, cargo management, fuel management, and this is the research lab. But look, flight scheduling, we, we really got that going. But look, if we have one guy, that's only gonna take 10 hours. Realistically, you want to get as many of these as you can. Uh, but look, one guy doing it is a lot faster than nobody doing it. So right now, we'll take that for our little airport. Okay, these are just fuel only. Oh, that's a nice big one. Take that, got a bit of money. So the reason why I left one in schedule mode only because when they start getting scheduled, that means it will automatically schedule flights. Uh, I'm just leaving it out right now anyways because we've got enough going on and we're making money. So we are making money. Okay, we can get rid of that for a second. We can pick up our speed again. Planes are still waiting to take off. We've got plenty of fuel in the bank. It's the cargo, but we should have delivery at 12 o'clock if that is scheduled correctly. So this should go up by 200. These goes green when we can actually take on more flights as well. Um, you know, we'll, we'll take that one in. We'll take this one. A couple of smaller ones okay this is actually running quite nicely now we'll take a bigger one there there you go you can see the cargo went up by 200 so we have two more hundred more cargo points now we can't fly at night because we don't have a runway that's capable of that we've only a very grass this is 1916 guys now the one thing i do like about it like i said the airport ceo is great one of my favorites but this i love the way you know we started these olden days look at this this is so cool get a couple of screenshots for the old discord to share with people But day one, we, we're doing all right, actually. I'm, I'm quite happy with this. We could probably actually open up that other one now. If I change this back, on ramp two. Okay. Let's take a big one here. Okay, on-demand flights. So, look, we do have more room now to take another flight. Let's just take two. I'll take whatever two we want. Uh, that's a nice fueling one. We'll take that as well. Only 800 in the bank though. I thought we'd have a bit more. But you know what I will do with that 800? We're going to invest it in research. I think research is important early on. So now that has dropped this down to four hours. In four hours time we'll have the first one. Uh, which is good. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do now is upgrade another parking slot for fuel and we're going to get a third truck and we're going to do the same uh, for the cargo. They already have three, um, but I think we could do one more. There we go. Uh, hopefully turn around the planes just a little bit faster. Oh, we have no fuel. Okay, fuel management. We know that these contracts are instant. Sign that in. Uh, 5,000 was the maximum we could have had. So hopefully this is going to fuel up very, very fast. Oh, I didn't see that the fuel was running out. That's the only problem with running with fast forward. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. We have fuel again, guys. But boy, that goes down quick. We'll just take whatever it gives us. 
Probably slow it down a little bit. First day is nearly over. We're now minus 700. How did we get minus? What happened here? Maybe it was the fuel cost. There we go, back in the plus. We are coming into the evening though. After seven o'clock, I don't think we can take any more flights. I think that's why there's nothing else coming in. Oh, we got one more. Okay, just gonna slide down again. Fuel is definitely getting used a lot here. I can't really use them yet. Might as well just take the 5,000, didn't we? 2,100 though. Oof. They're all queuing up to take off now. Come on, maybe my taxiways need adjusting. Still waiting for somebody. fuel again there is a big queue here what the hell's going on here and we're racking up Yeah, we're not going to take any more flights for a few minutes because I want these guys to take off. Okay, flight scheduling has been uh, done. Okay, so we can now start scheduling flights. This is cool. We're going to look at this on the second episode. Uh, but we need to go back to our research now. And I think... I think we'll take the air traffic control next. I was hoping that these guys are going to start taking off. There should be no queues coming in and out of the airport now. Pretty strange. Never did this to me before. I don't know if this is a bug or... This is where scheduling will help. But I'm quite happy where we started. I know there's nothing really coming in right now. Uh, we'll take a fuel on here. Okay, we've run out now. Daytime work hours have ended. During these late hours, you'll be unable to accept any more flights. You'll have to wait until the morning. Flights continue coming in. Use this time to focus on improving aspects of your airport. Okay, so they're all gone now. So I do think we need to change maybe some of this taxiing. I um, wonder what I can do to make that a little bit better for queuing systems. Uh, I'll have to have a little think about that. Okay, look, I'm going to leave episode number one there. Uh, so there we go, this is our start to our airport, to our future. Uh, we've got some research going on. Uh, we're going to look at scheduling flights the next go round, and we're going to change some of these just to schedule only. 
Uh, so that's pretty cool. If you're enjoying this content, please do subscribe down below to the channel. Hit the bell icon for notifications. I upload nearly every single day. And other than that, for myself, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.